Hello, and thank you for taking the time to watch this short video today. My name is Dr. Richard Easton. I work for a company called Biopharmaspec, and I just want to talk briefly about the structural characterization of adeno-associated virus gene therapy products. The Biopharmaspec is an early stage R&D CRO. We have extensive experience in the structural and biophysical characterization areas. Uh, very heavily, we use mass spectrometry and chromatographic instrumentation, but we have a full, full suite of instruments to allow us to fully characterize proteins and glycoproteins at the primary and higher order level. We have labs in the UK and the US. So why do we want to analyze the proteins of AAB type molecules? Well, the DNA component and testing of the DNA component is quite well defined in the regulatory guidelines, but the protein components are less fully mentioned. Nonetheless, characterization does require that all components should be identified and investigated structurally. So this does cover the three protein um, molecules that make up the capsid. It has been shown that in terms of activity, uh, modifications to these protein codes can adversely affect the infectivity of the particles. So knowing the structure of your molecule at the protein level, as well as the DNA level is gonna be very important to make sure that you have a good quality product going forward into biological testing. You can assess whether there's any issues in terms of your manufacturing process by investigating these molecules. This should really happen using a variety of orthogonal mass spectrometric uh, techniques and chromatographic procedures as well to characterize at the primary level what the molecules look like, both in terms of the amino acid sequence and any modifications that may take place such as deamidation, oxidation, N and C terminal modifications, and any glycosylation that is present on these glycoproteins as well. So in order to fully characterize your molecule, to assure that you have a good quality product moving forward, and that you are unlikely to have issues in terms of biological testing, early stage investigation of proteins is very, very important. Thank you very much.